Do you know how to do that or not? Let's just check. I usually just burst through doors. That's right. It's bad now. Go with a mission, eh? What's the caper? Jewels, ancient artifacts, or just plain hard cash liberated from the till? A book. All this for a book? I don't want the book, just what's inside. I think it was Giles' notes. He was standing here, and when I turned around, it was gone. Where did he learn to write so bloody small from a fruit fly? Wait, here's something. Uh, Tarnus, 12th century. One of the founders of the monks of the Order of Dagon. Their sole purpose appears to have been as protectors of the key. <laughs> Brown robe types are always protecting something. It's the only way they can justify giving up girls. Hey! Troll him! <laughs> Didn't go with my stuff anyway. The key is not directly described in any known literature, but all research indicates an energy matrix vibrating at a dimensional frequency beyond normal human perception. Only those outside reality can see the key's true nature. Outside reality. What's that mean? Mm. Second sight blokes, mostly. Or even just your run-of-the-mill lunatics. You don't belong here. There! There's no one in there. I know what you are. What else does it say about this key? Is it made out of gold? Maybe we can hawk it, split the take. Um, the key is also susceptible to necromanced animal detection, particularly those of canine or serpent construct. The monks possess the ability to transform energy and reality. Blah, blah, blah. Good Lord, Giles writes as dull as he talks, doesn't he? They started work, but the council has suggested to us that they were interrupted, presumably by glory. They obviously did manage to accomplish the taste, accomplish the task. <laughs> They had to be certain the Slayer would protect it with her life. So they sent the key to her in human form. In the form of a sister. Huh. I guess that's you, Nibbler. <laughs>